Welcome back tonight. I'm obsessed with the idea that you really can have too much of a good thing. Last night, the Washington Nationals and the Chicago Cubs played a classic, a wild, unpredictable, deciding playoff game, won by the Cubs, by the way, 9 to 8. So I've heard it's a game filled with the kind of moments no one had ever seen before. That's the good thing. Here's the bad thing. It took four hours and 37 minutes to do it. This is no extra innings, folks. It was the longest nine inning postseason game in Major League history, and they've been playing postseason games since 1903. 277 minutes, 38 players, 14 pitchers, 12 pitching changes, regular replay reviews, and countless, countless meetings on the mound. Edit out the meetings, the pitching changes, the batting glove adjustments, and somewhere you'll find a three hour gym. Instead, what we got was nearly a five-hour endurance test. And you know what? I took my 10-year-old son to the game. It was a school night, but it's a special night. And we had to leave in the ninth inning of a 9-8 game. Why? It was past midnight, and I had some transportation dilemmas facing us. My challenge to Rob Manfred, baseball commissioner, watch that game again, minute by minute, if you can bear it. Then do something. Edit out the following or put in a pitch clock. Don't let batter step out of the box as many times. Limit visits to the mound. Limit pitching changes. Cut commercial time. Something, anything, please. All of us baseball fans are begging you. You have a great sport here, but time is not on your side. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.